Hello everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to the Geology Vlog, episode number two. You are seeing the Wolf Camp formation and cuttings through a microscope. We're gonna go on a logging trailer and rig tour, a simplistic overview of a day in the life of a mud logger. After witnessing the printer for company reports, we come across the Payson computer, which communicates drilling operations like bit depth, hole depth, rate of penetration, and mud flow rates. Next, we have the company computer. This is where we build the log, monitor sample rates, check emails, and build the raw data file for the company geologist. The most important thing for a mud logger is to monitor gas. The gas chromatograph monitors all the different sorts of gas that come up and validates the pay zone that they're drilling in. We are gonna head outside into the great wide open. There's a beautiful mesa north of us, just outside Fort Stockton, Texas. Off in the distance is a workover rig that is servicing and maintaining a neighboring well. There's a flare that's burning off the natural gas of a neighboring well. This is a bit of the view of the environment as we walk out the front door of the logging trailer. Now we will make our way through the mud to the mud pit floor. In the distance is a bunch of mud additives all piled up waiting to be added in through the grates that we'll walk across. We try not to hit our heads, get too dirty, and clamber up the upcoming stairs. Not bump into anybody, use the handrail for safety, and here we have it. Underneath us, underneath the grates, is mud that is continuously flowing. They add additives directly into the mud through the grates as it's constantly circulating underfoot. We're dodging mud pumps as we make our way to the shaker tables. The shaker tables are dry because they're not drilling right now. Usually the shaker tables are covered in mud and cuttings, but currently they are not drilling. So we turn the corner and here it is, a dry shaker table. This is where we collect samples and we clean the samples right next to the shaker table. There's a neighboring well with a gigantic flare. Flash of the derrick. A rig hand cleaning off the shaker table and making sure that the possum belly, which is where all the fluid flows through is clean. I spend a lot of time in those shaker tables collecting samples to bring back, to analyze, interpret, and put it in the mud log. Underneath, mud is constantly flowing, dodging some more mud pumps, and here's the mud overflow pit. Rig hand who is monitoring the mud overflow pit for safety, making sure it doesn't overflow. We're going to start to head back to the logging trailer now, working our way across the mud pits, dodging more mud pumps. When we turn the corner, before we head back down the stairs, we're going to check out the derrick, the doghouse, and the derrick floor. Mud loggers rarely, if ever, go on the derrick floor or in the doghouse. Working our way back down the stairs, not hitting our heads, we come across mud additives, more mud additives in the distance, a beautiful mesa, crew houses, where all the drillers stay, and our home, the mud logging trailer. As we enter our home away from home, if I had a sample, I would clean it up a little bit in the sink, put it underneath the microscope, analyze, interpret it, call a lithology, and put it in the mud log. That is gonna do it for episode number two. Thank you for watching the geology vlog. 
Tune in next time. Neil S. Turlock, Geologist.